Well, we have a new student with us today. Uh, would you like to introduce yourself? Everyone calls me Maddie. Hi, Hi Maddie. Maddie. Would you like to tell us a little about yourself? Why do you need to know? How'd you die? Rhonda, why don't we try to raise our hands if we're gonna ask a question? Uh, one minute I was ditching study hall, and then the next, I'm here. Oh, you were murdered. Welcome to the club. Can we uh, maybe exchange names first, so Maddie feels a little more welcome? I don't know exactly. Ex exactly. Look, they haven't found my body yet, but I know that there was blood on the walls of the boiler room, and I'm here now. Huh? Huh? What's huh? Uh. What? Is that... Is that weird or something? Not knowing? Well, we, um... It's a first. So then what do you remember, Cherry Pop? Okay, Rhonda. Um... Clearly Maddie doesn't want to talk about it and she doesn't remember. Hey. Now's not really a great time. Wally Clark, class of 84. I was laid out by a tackle during my senior year homecoming game. Never made it up the field. Nice to meet you. Um, Maddie, current unsolved mystery. Pleasure. Wait, Wally Clark? Yeah. Why does that sound familiar? Oh, well, they named the stadium after me. <sighs> hey, let's go 20. Hey, watch 12. Watch 12. Hey, Wally, what's going on? Mom, what? you should not be down here. And you shouldn't be on that bench. Who's that? <laughs> He's up there, and he agrees with me, OK? Well, so... Mom, coach wants me to rest my knee, so. Well, you know what they say, you can rest when you're dead. Do you want me to talk to him? No, no, don't don't talk to the coach. OK, you know, Mom? Yeah. He said he's going to put me in later, so you don't have to worry about it. I'm... Later doesn't win scholarships, Wally. Uh, my mom always pushed me to be the best version of myself I could be, you know, on and off the field. Didn't you die on the field? Yeah, yeah, I did. Um, I was right at the five yard line. And I was running and then I heard my neck. And it was lights out. But it did not hurt at all. The thing that stings, honestly, is the fact that I didn't die in the end zone. I could have got my mom one more W, you know? Hey. You see her? I can run faster than that. That is my mama. She has never missed a game. And she always leaves that empty seat next to her every time. Is it for your dad? No, he stopped coming like 15 years ago. I think it's for me. I know we're going to be spending a lot of time together, but it wouldn't kill you to at least pretend to be interested in getting to know me. Okay. Fine. How did you die? Oh, okay. Well, yeah, we're skipping small talk, going straight for the heavy I stuff. I knew that. Don't you know it? The one day I forget my EpiPen is the one day they cook the french fries in peanut oil. God. No, don't sweat it. The bigger disappointment was me thinking I would get to haunt all the assholes who tortured me while I was here, but uh, instead I was haunted by all the jokes they made once I was gone. What do you mean? I was a gay kid in the 90s who died because he was allergic to nuts. How are you feeling? My best friend just got carted off for helping me solve a murder I can't even remember. How do you think? Powerless. Shitty. Alone. You're not the first person here who's broken something they can't fix. We all have unfinished business. Does your unfinished business have a name? Emilio? 
Only you know him as Mr. Figueroa. You Charlie? Yeah. I'm Emilio. We an exchange today. I heard you got room for one more. Oh, you watch out, new kid. Oh shit, Charlie finally found a butt buddy, you guys. Oh, somebody's <laughs> pitching a tent tonight. <laughs> 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 you can sleep somewhere else. I actually like being alone, so. Hey, different country, same cabrones. He used to say the same shit about me. <laughs> They're right, too. Want to hear something incredible? Sure. after that. To me, Emilio wasn't just from another hemisphere. He was... He was from another world. Emilio was everything I wasn't. Confident. Magnetic. He used to say I got all the shit for being gay and none of the joy. He thought, if I just came out, you know, to everyone, it'd be different. And then, one day my parents asked me in front of him why I never dated anyone. And so um, he told them about us. He outed you? To your parents? Oh, he was convinced they already knew. Maybe they did. All I know is that I was furious. And I wrote him this mean, terrible letter. And I dropped in his locker the next day and then tried to drown my feelings in a plate of french fries. The worst part was, um, watching Emilio find the letter. I told him that I never loved him. And I never wanted to see him again. Just my luck, he became a teacher here because um, now all I do is see him and just, um, just wish I could take back those words. I'm sorry, Charlie. Thanks. Look, I swear I'm not telling you this to bum you out further, okay? I'm telling you this because you need to know that you are not alone. We're all Split River Devils. For better or worse, we're in this together. You want Simon to copy this and give it to him? It's only 16 pages. Front and back. I, I've been watching you for the past 28 years. Charlie, Mr. Figueroa, or Emilio, he's gonna think that you're messing with him. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't think about that. Um, He's in his what now, 40s? And isn't he married to some guy? Okay, wow, stab me in the chest, why don't you? Sorry, just what exactly are you trying to say? Well, I just, I said some awful things back then, you know? I was so mad, so now I just, I, I just want to apologize. Yeah, I hear you. But, you know, I think this should read like 1994, when you were alive. I want him to know me now. Well, I know, but all you can say is that you didn't mean those words and that you forgive him. Okay, note taken. One last thing. You know, once he reads the letter, you're gonna have to forgive yourself, right? 
start living your life or whatever, or living your death. Live your death. I love that. I'm gonna put down a t-shirt. Uh, is it your first name, Emilio? Yep. I think I found something that uh, belongs to you, maybe. You know, I feel like if we met in the same time, we would have been friends. Yeah? And why is that, Jerry Bob? Well, for one, I never would have had the guts to do that. Alive or dead. Yeah, well, the longer you're here, the less you'll care. You'll see. Right. I am. I was wondering what the story was between you and your guidance counselor. I'm just curious. Why, so you can blog about it? Blogs aren't really a thing anymore. Just, they, they take too long to read. Of course they do. I was more just wanting to get some answers. My pain is not for sale. No, I know that. Do you think my death can somehow help you solve yours? Honestly, I hope not. I, just, I had a friendship with a teacher, too. I guess I'm just trying to figure out what it all meant. Mr. Manfredo was the nicest man I'd ever met. My father was a pencil pusher. Long hours, never home. And my mother cared more about how that home looked. The lawn, the stupid roses. But Mr. Manfredo, he just cared about me. That sounds nice. Yeah, it was. He saw that I was something special. He wrote to fancy schools to let them know it, too. If I had a grade that slipped, he was firm. He knew what it took to succeed out in the real world, and he wanted me to see that world someday. But then when my dream, or our dream, became a reality, it all went sideways. How so? I was in his office showing him my acceptance letter to Berkeley, and he just shut down. And that's when it became clear that all that kindness, all that guidance came with a cost. What? What happened? We argued. He thought we were one thing, I disagreed. And then when I went to leave his office, let's just say I never left. Turns out nobody's who you think they are, Cherry Pop. If I got any lasting advice from my so-called guidance counselor, it's that. So he was never caught? No, he was. He died in prison. That didn't change anything for me. Nothing ever changes here. It all just resets in the end. There is no back. That life you used to have, it's not an option. But there may be a way forward. What? Forward where? Well, you know, great beyond, onward, upward, wherever that may be. We're all just trying to cross over, which is why it is important to stick together. I mean, Janet did it, and she'd been here since 1960. She was a total diehard. Since 1960? 
Yeah, well, the alternative is Dawn. Yeah, she never comes to group. No, instead she just sort of uh, bops around aimlessly. What happened there? Oh, no clue. No, but it was the 70s, so, uh, you know, bad acid, cult initiation gone wrong, probably drank the wrong Kool-Aid. I can hear his black Oxford squeaking on the linoleum. Mr. Mazar is the AV teacher. His office smells like high karate and cigarettes. When I get to the studio, I'm the first one there. My friends Beth and Karen are late. The three of us are doing a project for social studies. I go to the supply room to gather microphones and stuff. Then I hear Beth and Karen. <laughs> they come in laughing, making jokes about some flaky, spaced out bimbo. And then I realize they're talking about me. At first, I don't want to believe it. These are my friends, right? I close the supply room door, and I look through the window. And they... They keep ripping me apart. My voice, my hair, my clothes, my teeth. It's brutal. They call me a joke. And it just gets worse and worse. And then they turn and look my way. And I don't want them to see me. So I reach towards the light bulb to unscrew it and... Maddie? I'm really sorry I wasn't able to help you. Tom, please, you don't need to apologize to me. But I really wanted to take you back. No, it's okay. If anything, you deserve an apology. You know, I'm sorry if anyone ever made you feel like a joke. Because you're not. I, I think I hurt people too. And I wish I would have been there for them. When I still could. Be okay. <laughs> You're a good friend. Has anyone seen Dawn since the seance? She's not there. Weird. She's usually there. What the hell is that? Did anybody else just feel that? Goosebumps. Yeah. Do we think that Don just... Don just crossed over. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Holy crap. Okay.